My name is Richard Hamilton and I'm a fifth generation descendant of the first Richard Hamilton who came to South Australia in 1837 and he planted the first vines for winemaking in the colony. So we've been going for over 180 years. Uh, we've got 180 vintages uh, continuously since, since that time. So it's, uh, we're the oldest winemaking family in Australia. I'm, uh, I've got another profession. Uh, I'm also a plastic surgeon, um, so I'm fortunate enough to be able to combine plastic surgery with winemaking and, and viticulture, and that gives me a, a great deal of joy. Well, I took over Leckenfield in 1981, and my Uncle then was uh, aged 83 uh, and uh, in view of his age he was um, having difficulty continuing with it and he wished to pass, pass it over to another family member and we'd had a very close relationship um, going back many years because he helped me at, at McLaren Vale as well. Um, so I, I took that on in, in 19... 81. Now already, even though Leckenfield had only been going for six, seven years, it, it had a great story because, because of Sydney. Uh, Sydney coming out of 20 years retirement, wanting to make Australia's classic red, red wine. Um, and this really did engage the interest of consumers, particularly in, in Sydney and Melbourne, uh, as, as well as Adelaide. Uh, so I think this, this was, a, was a great story and it was a great, a great foundation. Um, and uh, I've been lucky enough to, to build on that. Uh, uh, I've expanded uh, brick by brick the business and uh, I've employed some very good people. Uh, and perhaps one of the most significant decisions I've made is that uh, I asked Paul Gordon to be our winemaker and he, he's a fantastic winemaker and that was, that was a great decision. I'm Paul Gordon, I've been the winemaker at Leckenfield for the last uh, almost 20 years. So before I started at Leckenfield I, um, I went through winemaking college and there I sought out to work for a, a company that was going to teach me a lot of skills in winemaking. So before that, before I was starting here I worked for companies which became ultimately South Corp Wines, then ultimately that became Treasury Wine Estates, but I, I left when it was still South Corp Wines, and so I worked for them for 23 years before um, Richard asked me to come and join his group. I think the essence of winemaking is to make a product which has got great drinkability. Um, I often use the example of if you have a glass of wine and you enjoy it so much that you look forward to the second glass, then you've achieved your aim. Uh, there's nothing more satisfying than going to a restaurant and seeing someone buying you a bottle of wine than buying another bottle of the same wine because it was so good. In some ways, a means of success is you don't need to think about the wine from a consumer's point of view. It should be so good and so perfect that it doesn't require too much comment because it's, it goes well with the meal you're having. I think uh, Sidney Hamilton had a, a story, I think, that he said that uh, a wine that's going to age well, it's got to be drinkable as a young wine. And it's with that, I that in mind with the wines we make here. So they've got to be approachable as young wines, but also uh, age well so that the rewards of a person putting the wine down to cellar for a long period of time will be able to see that extra layers of complexity uh, from a wine which matures for 10 years or 20 years, albeit a red wine or in, or in our case even white wines. Our Rieslings for example age very well for 15-20 years and they're just magnificent styles of wine. Same wine is all about diversity, it's all about regionality, it's about passion of winemakers, it's not only it's the each region producing fantastic wines, it's each winemaker putting their thumbprint on the wines to make individual styles within that particular region. I think the greatest thing about 
Australian and winemaking is the working together with you have with other winemakers, even though in some countries they may be seen to being rivals. For us, they're, we're all striving with the common aim of not only looking after the wines that we're making as our best wines, we're looking at after developing Wine Australia as being a premium and recognised in the world over as being a very much a premium wine growing region, uh, wine growing country. Um, so I think that working together, um, striving for the best, sharing information, uh, working very much with our viticulturists and with other members of our team, with our marketing, seeing other expressions of what we what we were doing as far as our wine styles. You know, I don't see it as being a winemaker saying this is the wine style I want to produce. I think it's a winemaker's his job is to try and make a wine that is reflective of what's going to sell well and is what the consumer wants. I think that is the essence of Australian winemaking.